Hey there my fellow fans and welcome to the channel, today's celebrity news. Outlander Sam Hugan and Katrina Balfe have a crisis as final season confirmed. One of the stars of Outlander has paid tribute to the show's leads and producers Sam Hugan and Katrina Balfe for their work on the epic historical series. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Andrew Gower spoke about working on the hit star series and the news Outlander was now coming to an end, albeit not for a while. For any show nowadays to go, they'll be doing eight seasons. That just speaks volumes about the creative team involved, because m many shows don't get beyond a first season, a second season, Gower said. It speaks volumes to Diana Gabaldon's books. It speaks volumes to showrunner Matt B. Roberts and executive producer Meryl Davis. Who runs the show? The two leads, Kate Jonah and Sam, I think to continue a series for eight seasons, I doff my cap to them, my Bonnie Prince cap to them. Moreover, Gawa admitted he was gutted not to be able to star with Hugen and Balfe in season six, which saw him reprising his role as Bonnie Prince Charlie for a flashback scene addressing how the would-be monarch fled from Scotland in the aftermath of the Battle of Culloden. Paying tribute to the duo, Gawa said, I think the joy of the writers team right now and especially what I found when Kate and Sam took over as producers, I think there is this beauty of honouring the books but also a real delightful element of reincorporating characters from earlier seasons and that happened with Duncan Lacroy when Murtagh arrived in later seasons. I think they've taken a nice artistic license and also listened to the fans. He went on to say, I was very unfortunate not to actually be on set with either of them. I was gutted to not actually work with them, but I think they've just taken on those roles by the sounds of it seamlessly. If anybody has an understanding of the show, having been on it for that long, it's going to be those two. And I feel like it's great for the actors now to offer their services as producers and learn about that side. It's something that really intrigues myself as well. In the future, I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to offer. Collaborate, almost, and, and those two people, Sam and Kate, damn, have been from seasons one and two collaborating. That's really important. It's an important thing to have at the helm of any show, as well as actors, they're collaborators. Since appearing in Outlander, Gawa has gone on to a raft of other projects, including starring in Black Mirror, Amazon Prime Video's Carnival Row, Netflix's You and Miss Scarlet and the Duke, among other things. He also launched his first EP, The Jacaranda, last year with his band Gustafsson, which he formed with his school friends James Webber Webster. The four-track EP was produced with Craig Potter from Albo, whom Gawa had previously worked with on the independent film Running Naked. The Liverpool band will now be playing their first London gig next week at the Lexington, with all priest proceeds from ticket sales going to the Al Khidmat Foundation in Pakistan. Gawa said he was excited for Gustafsson to be forming in London and said it was about time, with the band also playing their new single Northern Baby. As well as Gustafsson set, fellow Outlander actress Caitlin Orion, who is also a spoken word artist, will be reading some of her work, as well as performances from musician Marta Goddard and a short film called Fog from Miranda Coe and stars Kieran Sonia, Sawyer and Adil Akhtar. Gawa also hailed the Outlander fans for their support over the years. He said, I think it's one of those things that have a massive fan base. The series for me, I've never rejoined a series before as in come back to a series having been away for so long and also the fan base have supported everything I've done since, which is so unusual for any job. Whether it's a BBC drama or another American co-production series, the fan base have followed my work ever since, or music, they've turned up to gigs, they've bought records. So I don't feel jobs like Outlander or projects like Outlander come along a lot, and I always feel lucky that I was a small part to play in that series. Wonderful! Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.